All right, so we've just pulled up to Exmouth Overflow Car Park. This is the uh, oval. Um, but I've been wanting to do a video on how to unhitch. Um, I know there's been a few people struggling with the 50 millimeter ball, tow ball. So the standard ball where basically they're struggling to release the vehicle from the caravan. I've been on the road now for nine months, so I'm not an expert by any means, but we've been on average staying at a place for two days. So I've been on the hitching and hitching up for two days. So I've been testing all different methods that people have been recommending. So I just wanted to share my thoughts, how I do things, so I can hopefully help anybody out there Um, now it does all depend on the terrain that you're going to be parked on. Depends whether you're reversing your caravan in to its spot or whether you've got a drive through spot so you're just driving straight in. That all depends on how or what method you're going to use to unhitch the caravan from the car itself. So I basically just reverse my caravan into a spot. Now I'm on a slight incline so the back of the caravan is going up so you've got to take that into consideration as well as to how level the caravan is prior to unhitching and what method you need to use so i've we've pretty much checked our levels from side to side and they are good so i've put chocks underneath the uh, twin axle itself just to prevent the van from moving down the slope when I unhitch. The handbrake will be on, it's off at the minute, but it will be on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my car into neutral. The only thing when you use neutral though is that this is where I'm talking about, you need to make sure that you're pretty level. So my car's pretty level, so it's not really gonna move anywhere, but the caravan's got a slight slope on it. But the handbrake's on, and the chocks under the wheel so the caravan is not going to move so all i'm going to do is make sure double check just make sure that your car is level if your car is on a decline or an incline the last thing you want to be doing is putting your car into neutral and unhitching because the car is going to go backwards into the caravan or it's going to roll forwards and take the caravan with it right so let's do this see at the moment because i have reversed the caravan up you can see that my tow ball is pretty much at the back of the hitch itself. So this is where the problem starts, is that that tow ball needs to be centered to the tow hitch. So that's why we put it into neutral and it should just find its natural space in the middle of uh, the tow hitch itself. So let's see what happens when we put it into neutral. Alrighty, so the handbrake is off on the car and it's in neutral. All I'm going to do now is unhitch by winding the jockey wheel up and you'll see that it should freely move up without too much um, force. The handbrake is on on the caravan, now we're going to simply just jock her up. So I do have the full articulated hitch on this, it's the Alco 50mm ball one. So some of you may have a standard one, so the only difference is it's fully articulated but I should be able to simply push this up and jock this up without any force on the caravan or the car. Usually what happens is if it's caught, the tow ball is caught, it's gonna raise the car up in your suspension and you'll be struggling to try and wind her up. So there you go, that was pretty simple. But like I said, if you're gonna use the neutral in your vehicle, you're gonna make sure that the road that you're on or wherever you're parked is pretty level. You don't want an incline or a decline, because like I said, it could be pretty dangerous. The car could come backwards towards the caravan, or it could go forwards and take the caravan with it. Now, if you are a little bit worried about putting it into neutral, I suggest for the first time that you do it, that you have, if you can use another person, maybe your partner, that can physically be inside the vehicle when you put it into neutral because it can be quite nerve-wracking for the first time that you do it 
So yeah, just basically get your wife, your husband to drive, whoever, just someone in the driver's seat to put it in neutral, take the handbrake off, and basically have their foot on the brake pedal, not putting it on, but just in case something happens and the person behind you is unhitching can shout out if the uh, caravan's gonna move or the car's gonna move, that they can yank, yank on the brakes, that's all. Okay, so when I initially uh, made this video, I was in Exmouth, I'm now currently in Darwin, Northern Territory, and I was open to get everybody out there a different scenario of different um, ways that we could unhitch our caravan, depending on the terrain that we're on. Um, unfortunately, uh, we've been on flat ground pretty much the whole time, so I haven't been able to give you guys a scenario when it comes to um, unhitching your caravan with different levels. So I just wanted to speak about that just quickly. So if you are not keen on using the neutral method like I've just showed you, then please put the car in park, put it in neutral if you've got a manual, put the handbrake on on the car, and see where that um, tow ball is compared to the hitch. If it's at either at the back or at the front, then all you've got to do is basically move your car millimeters, only millimeters, no more than 10 mil, just to get that tow ball dead center within the hitch. It will then simply raise up nice and easy. I've seen people on the road and they're physically on the back of the car and they are jumping up and down like crazy on the back of the car. It's funny to see, but seriously, use this method. Just have a look and see where the tow ball is compared to the, tur to the hitch itself. Make sure it's center and you will get it perfect every time. All right, that's another video done by us guys. I hope you like that one. Um, please leave any comments below if you have any other methods that you use when you unhitch when you unhitch your caravan. Yep, don't forget guys, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.